Hello everybody. In the last video we used the OmniFlop software available via the internet that you can Google to create an Insonic Sound Diskette number 11 image. It came from this diskette using a Windows PC floppy drive. If you need information on how to create these image files, then please look at the other video. This disk image has several varieties of percussion string sounds on it, and now we're going to try and turn it into a Lotharec HXC floppy drive emulator file for the SD card so that the Mirage can read it. So this is the image file that was created from Omniflop. It should be .img, but I did not give it a type. Um, we're going to use the HXC floppy emulator software to convert this image file into an HFE formatted file. We do that by opening the software. I move it down so you can see it. It's version 2.1.8.0, recently downloaded from the internet. Now there's lots of menus and dialogues here, and here is the manual for it. It has a nice manual that explains how to convert for DOS formatted floppy disks. This step-by-step -step guide is fantastic for teaching you the basics of how the software works. In this particular case, this video is all about how to export the image just for an Insonic Mirage. So the first thing we're going to do is load a raw image, which is what this is from Omniflop. Load a raw image. Move that down so you can see it. Now there's lots of information here, and if you have a fancy proprietary formatted floppy drive, you feel free to read that manual and fill all those parameters in. This software comes prepared with custom disk layouts corresponding to a great number of devices that have been retrofitted with the HXC emulator. What we're looking for is the Insonic Mirage 3.5 inch double density floppy disk. We don't need to set any of these parameters because they are already set in this file from the HXC software company. So what we need to do now is load a raw image. So we're going to load the image and we're going to select it from the desktop. Now it should be an IMG file but I didn't name it IMG so I'm going to select it manually. There's ESD11. It doesn't matter what the type is, it's just a way to sort. So it found 80 tracks of one-sided raw image of this particular device. So it knows what it is. Now we need to export it. We're going to export a ESD11 dot HFE. Now, in this case, the HFE is important because the emulator needs that in order to identify it. And then we will save it. And there it created it. Way up here. There it is. It was just that fast. So the software is very complicated. You can see it has lots of menus and dialogues. And if you don't know what this means, then it's going to be very cumbersome. There's batch converter if you want to do a lot of floppies all at once. There's dumps and analyzers, and you feel free to look at the menu to figure all this stuff out. It, that goes beyond the scope of this video. So here is the HFE file we just created for ESD and Sonic Sound Disk number 11. Next step will be to load it onto an SD card and see what it sounds like.